Hey everybody, my name is Nick, and today I'll show you how a laptop's cooling system works. Here is a disassembled Dell Inspiron E1505 laptop computer. I have the heatsink removed, but the fan is right here. This is your processor. This is your chipset. These are two components that run a bit hot and require a heatsink to get the heat off of them. Which in laptops, you can't have a typical setup like let's say you have on a desktop. An example would be that big old heatsink there. This is inside the Qcomputer Tower Deluxe, which is of course a desktop computer. So, you have to use a different kind of technology. Of course in laptops, the CPUs run cooler. Not near as much heat put out from laptops, but it's still important to keep them cool. Right here is how this goes together. Set this down in place. This heat pipe runs across, starting with the chipset, then your CPU, and it transports the heat through here to these fans, to where the fan blows through these fans and dissipates the heat out the back. Which, this is why it's very important with, when you're using a laptop computer, it's very important to make sure that your intake fan on the bottom of the computer is not being taken up. Let's say you're sitting in the computer on a bed. You want to make sure that air can get to this fan, the intake fan, which sucks in air. And you always want to be sure that this back side here can dissipate the heat. Otherwise, your laptop may over overheat or throttle down, causing a big drop in performance. Some laptops have a graphics card built in, maybe with a separate cooler, sometimes on the same cooler, it all depends. But most laptop computers carry this typical design. This is a quick little overview of how laptops cool themselves. Any questions, let me know.